Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Another day, another dollar. What's up with Jay for Life TV here? JP hollering at you, as always. All right, got a doozy for you. Uh, someone shot this to me uh, this morning, and um, <laughs> I mean, to me, it's comical. I think the young lady was trolling, and um, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? Uh, so the the thing is, she she comes on here and says she deserves it all, and men should give it to her. So with that being said. Go ahead, let's get it out of the way and hit that subscribe button, like button, and comment as it goes. So this is going to be a doozy. This is going to be a good one. Um, the goal is still 100, 200 subscribers. Uh, let's try to reach that goal for the month is out. Um, I think we can do it. So let's go. Like I said, drop it in the hands. Greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, Let's get this thing rolling. Let's see what this young lady talking about. So here we go. I'm pretty good. So what? Is all men not shit or do women choose wrong? I mean, here's the thing. It's most of them aren't shit, but at hey, the same hey, time, hey. you're going to kill. You said so most of them ain't shit. Yeah, most of them ain't shit, but it's like you gotta you, you gotta do what you need to do to have it done. I, I need I need that bag secured. <laughs> oh my god. Look how she's talking. Uh I need that bag secured. See, and this is the funny thing when I see some of these women doing certain things and certain women doing certain things that everyone think they can still do it. You know. You see some IG models say some stuff like that, and then you'll see some other women try to say the same thing. It's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. And uh, I'm not gonna say anything right now, but I know some of you thinking I'm gonna say something, but I'm not gonna say anything about it right now. I'm gonna let her keep talking and uh, let old dude finish talking with her. So let's see how she's supposed to get this bag. Already down, why well, I wanna be down with a dude that's down also? That makes no sense. So you already want the bag secure, you gotta have a bag like what what, what do you yeah. need from, what do you need from MJ? Like you, I like I need to have my own car, you need to have your own car. Do three four bedroom house. Three four bedroom house. Yeah, like I need to bring does, does he have to um make all that happen or what? How does that yeah. work? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at his face though. Look at her face. I mean, you got to look at this. This is comical as crap. But she says he has to have all these things. The car, the job, the house. And I agree. If he goes into a relationship, no matter who, he needs to have his stuff together. But she also needs to have her stuff together. She said she's tired of being broke and down and pretty much struggling. So you need to come in and fix that for her. So wouldn't that be the same thing as a woman who's up that picks up a guy who is down? Mm. Sounds like the same thing. And uh, so I want to know why she thinks she should deserve everything when she has nothing herself. So let's see who's going to come and save this young lady. Why would you not make that happen? That's what the man's supposed to do. Damn. So, so what are you bringing to the table? He got to get the houses. He got to get this big ass house. Like, what, what am I bringing to the table? Yeah. I showed up to the table. <laughs> I know y'all. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. Y'all gonna. <laughs> I know what y'all want to say when she talking about she showed up at the table. Yeah, you you definitely showed up at the damn table. Let's be real about that. But he's gonna need a little more than you showing up, eating up every damn thing, pretty much. Because a man who takes you on has to deal with a lot more than just his house 
someone has to take care of you. I mean, y'all ever seen the shows, the 600 pound um, weight loss thing? And before these people lose the weight, someone is taking care of them hand and foot. I mean, they're washing them. I mean, they're, they're doing everything. Rolling them over, wiping their butt for them. Uh, I seen one dude took the woman outside and washed her with a water hose. I mean, all kind of stuff. But all up in the cracks and crevices, washing and, whew, it's a lot. And I see they have their kids doing it. And on top of all of that, they still have a, the nerve to be mean. They have the worst attitudes toward the people that take care of them. And you could tell this woman has a bad attitude just by looking at her facial expressions and on here. Now she's sitting there making all these funny faces and talking like she's supposed to have everything. I mean, but let's just be real. Why would a guy who had his shit right, everything going for him, need to get with this woman? She's severely overweight. She doesn't have anything going on. Probably don't work. Um... Uh, and if she do, it's very limited because she can't get around. So why would a man want to take his good life, come and get into her life, and do all this shit for her? I, I'm not not understanding uh, her logic behind this. And I think that's where we got into where um, everyone on social media saying we need to we need this we need that and you men need to give it to us i don't want to work um, i need a man to take care of me and all this other stuff and these women be 30 years old getting stepped into the work world and you already tired so this young lady thinking that she still applies to that um my thing is if a guy who's got his shit together why would he want a woman who doesn't even take care of herself i mean i don't know let's see you showed up to the table yeah i showed up to the table i graced your table with my presence what do you mean well, man, everything you said makes no damn sense at all how does that not make sense when when if a man be materialistic and you want the woman then it's okay, but if a woman wanted, it's different. Like that, that the makes only, no The sense. only thing your ass was right about is being the big house. Because it looked like okay. uh, in, in the regular size house, they're going to have to cut your ass out of that motherfucker in a minute. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be long before he say something because, you know, she, she's kind of reckless with the mouth on uh, men. So I, I knew he was, sooner or later he was going to say something. Um, I was trying to hold off. But it's real. You ask for three and four bedroom homes and all this stuff. And you come on IG Live. You didn't even fix your fucking hair. You look like you. I don't even know what you have on. If you're laying down or what. Your, your head all down in your shoulders. Popping your eyes. Rolling your eyes. Making all these fucking gestures. I mean, who, who wants that? I mean, I think he's been real cool about. All the comments to just now say something. So I guess he was trying to see if he was trolling or not. I think she's trolling. And then I think she kind of got in the feelings of, of what he's going to say. But I think she's trolling and playing around. You know, don't know why because they're going to come back and look bad on her. But I don't know. Let's see what else this lady got to say. It might make me say something. See, it, it's, 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 so you don't have it. That's what it is. You don't have it. You. Now, real quick, I didn't mean to cut it off, but she goes straight to the defense and then try to bring him down. Oh, you don't have it. But that's okay. I know you don't have it. The brother like he don't have money. She the one that says she don't have shit. But that's her defense. Now to put it back on him. Oh, that's why you don't. Oh, basically, that's why you wouldn't want me because you ain't got it. Nah, I don't want you because that's why. You look like oh, that. Oh, there you go. You look like the type. There you I'm go. I'm just saying. There you you go. look like the type. Listen, it, you expected all this from a man. And you so don't really look like the creepers, creepers. 
Wow. What cute? You're cute. And see, there it is. He he finally said something to her. But how she tried to come back now? You cute. Now she try to give a compliment. But you've been trashing men and him the whole time now. But now you cute, whatever. And that's what happens. You come on here with all that negative energy. And I always tell people it's the energy that you bring that you receive. If you don't come with that hostile energy, you won't get it back. So remember that when you're talking, you know, you're conversing with people, bring it down. You don't have to be always up here and some that's the way I talk, that's the way I am, and I tell you blah 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 blah. All right, man, shut that shit up. Nobody wanna hear that. I mean, let's just be real. So let's see what else this lady got to say. But you ask me my opinion though. Man, instead of worrying about a man right now, you need to be worried about your health. You said I was you know, looking for all the social security. Now see He made a point Instead of worrying about a man You should be worrying about your health So instead of her trying to Better herself As far as her health Because if you don't have your health in check You ain't helping no one She's skipping over all that Knowing that If a man come in Let's say she get a guy and he comes into her life. He gonna spend all his time taking care of her ass. Now she laying around, can't move, swelling up in her legs, might have some heart issues, water retention, high blood pressure, diabetes, so giving medicine, rubbing down. Then you gotta turn around and walk, help clean her because if you don't, they have spots to get lesions on them and everything. If you don't wash it and, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. All I'm saying is it's a lot of work when you're that big and with your health. Instead of worrying about a man, worry about getting your health in check. Get healthy. Lose some of the weight. I don't care what people say. You should be able to do what you want until it starts affecting your health. That's how that goes. Yeah, you can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do until it starts affecting your health. And you're not telling me her weight is not affecting her health. And then you come on here live. Don't even fix your hair. And you want a man. You want a man. That's where to find them when they come on here. I mean, Let's go. I think he's about to finish her out anyway. So let's let's finish this out. I'm not worried. That's the one thing that she's not. She's not worried. That's one thing she's definitely not worried. Uh -huh. It's definitely not. Hey, yeah. Uh, men, men who listen to this, stay away from Big Bird because this is the type of shit that you think it's for real. Wow. It's hurt everything. It's hurt everything. It's not even to this dude who no. can't pay for it. If he can't afford it, just like that. And you can't just say that. Oh, okay. Just say you can't afford it. It's okay. Oh, okay. Apparently. Okay. Yeah, listen. Yeah. I'm fine with this one. Like, like, seriously. I can hear you both know that. Bye. 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 I'm done with this one. <laughs> I don't blame him. I mean, like I said, I think she's trolling. And then she, he, she got in her feelings when he uh, popped off about her weight and all that stuff. But. The reason women like this lady feels the way she feels is because there are dudes coming to see her. They are having sex with her. They're hanging out with her. They're spending time with her. And, and she giving them a little this and that. That's why she complained about they come and want and stuff. But basically, they probably feel, well, shit, I need to get paid to come over and do all this. They helping you out around the house or just having sex with you or laying up or coming to visit, spend time with you, whatever it is. These aren't the dudes that you want. Let's just be real. And that's why you are here saying the things that you are saying. They're not the dudes you want. They're the, the low, as you say, low budget betas out here. 
just getting with women because y'all probably thinking y'all got low self-esteem so they're gonna go have sex with you because they can't have sex with no one else because nobody else want them they be raggedy and dusty running around here not washing their ass half of the day but they look for women that are gonna take them in and if you one of those then don't get mad the whole thing is based on choices you do not have to be with these dudes just like you say a, a, a man yeah he found a see a beautiful woman and they say oh she's ratchet and all she wants is money and all that okay then don't get with her don't get with her then be complaining when you know what she's about same thing here if you think the guys are dusty and broken all this why are you inviting them in your house why are you giving them the time and i told this one lady she's um dated this dusty looking ass dude and posting pictures and video all the stuff they doing all this and me and my boy sitting back like well damn she that's the best she could do and then a good month later they break up and then you're on social media talking about men ain't nothing but boys and they ain't about shit and all this and this no you chose him that dude wasn't about shit and you should have just looked at him and seen that you trying to clean him up so he'll look good with you was a telltale sign that you shouldn't have been there so ladies don't get mad at the guy get mad at yourself because you do not have to choose him that's all i'm saying and i'm gonna close this shit out because it's ridiculous this clown on here talking about she need to get the bag and she at the table been at the table too much lady get away from the table get your health in check and with that being said don't forget to subscribe like and comment on this foolery that i have to witness again and i'm out of here jp out peace crazy